click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about electron refraction in the same way as light refracts even electron can refract. So let us see how is it that we are going to bring about electron refraction. Consider the following figure. We have an equipotential surface that actually separates two potentials V1 and V2 wherein V2 is greater than V1. So this is the region 1 and this is the region 2. An electron with velocity V1 is entering the region of potential capital V1 and it will get refracted at the point P. How it will get refracted at the point P? Because the minute it comes at the point P, it is going to be acted upon by the electric field. By definition, the electric field is always acting in a direction perpendicular or in a direction normal to the equipotential surface. So at this particular point P, the electric field is directed in this direction and due to this, it will so happen that the tangential components of the velocity will remain the same, they will remain unaffected. However, the normal component of the electron when it enters the region V2, that particular normal component will increase. Now since the normal component increases, the direction of V2 will not remain the same as that of V1, rather it will move towards E and hence your angle theta2 will be less than angle theta1. Simultaneously, one can say that V2n is not equal to V1n. However, the tangential components V2t, since there is no force acting in that direction, is actually equal to V1t. But what is V2t? When I resolve the components, the V2t turns out to be V2 into sine of theta2. And this turns out to be V1 into sine of theta1. And therefore, your sine of theta2 upon sine of theta1 is equal to v1 upon v2, the ratios of the velocities. Let us call this expression as 1. v1 can also alternatively be written as 2e into the potential v1 through which this electron has been accelerated divided by the mass of the electron. Similarly, I can write down for the velocity v2 as square root of 2 into e into v2 divided by m. I make the substitutions in the equation 1 and therefore your sine of theta 2 upon sine of theta 1 is equal to ratios of the velocities is equal to square root of v2 upon v1. This means the ratios of the sines of the respective angles is equal to the ratios of either the velocities or the square root of the potentials through which the electrons have been accelerated. And this is nothing but the Bethe's law of electrostatic refraction. Sincere thanks students for watching this particular video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thanks a lot.